Hello, this is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today, I want to talk about a new product that may be coming to your 401k plan, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Before we get into this episode, please hit the subscribe, like, add a comment at the end if you want to see something else or you had an opinion on what you think about a 401k annuity type product. So let's go on to the content. So I saw this article on Yahoo Finance. Your 401k plan could soon offer a lifetime income option. And that struck me as, what does that mean? So we go into the article and here's what it is. From Barron's. This is a new article. Came out a few days ago. Or is it yesterday? So let's go into this. For those of you who don't know, 401k plans offer different choices. The most common are basic ETFs. They have S&P 500. You have different small cap, large cap, international. Some have real estate. Some have uh, bonds. Others have some type of income option. And then most of them do have these things called target dated funds. So you pick a date where you want to retire and it will automatically rebalance it based on how much stock you need. It will reduce the risk as you get closer to retirement. It will put more in bonds or safer asset class. Some of them even have gold or some type of commodity. So when you go and read this, this is saying in the future, what they want to do is offer a product that will add some type of annuity-like feature to it. So let's see what it says. So based on this, the way they word it, it sounds like they're still going to use an insurance contract on the back end to begin guaranteed lifetime income. How this works exactly, I do not know, but I can assume something like, If you pick, let's say you pick this retirement date, 2030, it will have, and I'm making this stuff up, 60% stock, let's say 40% bonds or whatever it may be, and it's investing for you. What it sounds like is while you're working, you're putting money into this uh, particular target date fund, and then let's say you retire. At that point, it may convert all of the value or maybe a percentage of the assets into an annuity so then it will say let's say your 401k plan is worth five hundred thousand dollars it may have an option where you select a percentage i want 50 percent of it to be an annuity and then it will tell you for that five hundred thousand we will send you 600 bucks a month and then you will still have 500 uh, whatever well i'm sorry i said five hundred thousand fifty percent 250000 will be an annuity. They'll send you something. The rest of it will be invested however you choose or you'll continue using some type of uh, target dated fund that will adjust your risk profile for you. And this article goes on to say annuities are a good option to the date target date funds because what? They've been trying to fix 401k plans because many employees don't save enough and run out of assets. And then they talk about how Social Security offer a lifetime annuity. Now, we all know Social Security acts like an annuity, but it's not. This one is very different. This one is not backed by real assets. They collect tax from people who are working. I think it's like 2.2 people who are working, and then they take that money and they send it to the one person who's retired. The problem with Social Security is the numbers drop to like 1.8 person working and then you got to pay more people and it and the amount of Social Security is going to increase. So the burden is just not going to work out. So you don't want to mix and mingle this. Annuities, on the other hand, is an insurance product which is fully funded. Insurance company actually and most likely manage the money much better than the U.S. government does. So make sure you don't confuse that. It goes on to say, well, if you offer this type of plan, will it help? And I don't know. I I actually don't think so. 
And the reason for that is, I just want to break this out. So what's the difference? Your 401k plan is designed to invest money for you. You can pick how you want to do it. Index, S&P 500, total market. Some people have, you do it by size of the in, or industry or growth, value, income, international, real estate, gold, whatever it may be. But an annuity, the, in the true sense of the word, most people use an insurance product. You transfer the risk. It is no longer an investment, quote unquote. Now, we still use the term, it's an investment, because it, it produces some rate of return. And most, most people use this insurance products like an annuity has an internal rate of return, about 4 to 6%. I'm not going to go into all the details, but insurance companies do invest your cash. They're not, they're not doing nothing with your cash, or they're not doing a Ponzi-like scheme to take that money that they collect and then pay it out to the next person. Insurance companies, and all of them do this, auto insurance, life insurance, health insurance, they take the money, they're supposed to pull it together, invest it, pay out claims as they come in, and that's how it works. So what? why do I have a problem with this? Because the article suggests adding an annuity option will solve this, and, and it does not. If you have a person who saves, let's say, 2% a year, by the time he's 60, he has only accumulated, let's assume he only accumulated $50,000 or $100,000. That is the statistics today. Most people make it to 60 or 65 or, or 67 with too little saved up. So even if you had this target retirement plan with 50,000 or 100,000 saved up, even if you switch it to an annuity on $100,000, you may only make 500 a month or 600 a month because you didn't save enough and if you do some quick math back of the napkin math most people who are in fire which is fin financially independent retire early and other groups like all the DGIers which are dividend growth investors they, they use a different metrics if you hit a million dollars they know they can generate forty thousand dollars of income because they fire people use a four percent withdrawal rate dividend investors use whatever your dividend yield is so if you have a million dollar portfolio and if your dividend yield may be let's say two percent if you're using like an s p 500 you know that that's how much you're going to make 20 grand if you use something like a high yield dividend like like a uh, VYM, VIM currently yields 3%. And here is a competing product, the SPHD, which is based on the S&P 500 high dividend yield. You will make, you see this, a 4.89%. So in a million dollars, I can predict I'm going to make $48,000 if you're just living off the yield. So why did I show you that math? Because an annuity, the payments are generally not as high as what you think they will be. As I said, most annuities will pay about a 4 to 6% rate, but the problem is it's it's not that the annuity piece is broken. It's that if the if the person who's saving money has very little, and even if you give this option built into the product, it's still not going to help them. So I believe the solution is still the same. You still got to save more money regardless of what vehicle you use, whether it's a 401k plan, real estate, a side hustle, or a business that you create that will create more income. That's how you're going to solve it. Annuities do play a different role, and I'm not going to spend this video explaining all the features of an annuity, but annuity is great if you, again, you want to transfer risk. If you have a $5 million net worth, and let's say your house is a $1 million, and let's say you have $4 million in the stock market, so what you can see that a piece of your wealth is tied into real estate, 20%, and then 80% is associated to the 
stock market. What if the stock markets go down for whatever reason for like 10 years in a row? Now, has it ever happened? No, but there was a time where the stock market dropped and it can take 10 years to recover. And we've seen that in the Great Depression nearly 100 years ago. In order to reduce that type of risk, what you can do is buy a, take some of that money out of your stock market, let's say out of your $4 million portfolio, you sell half of it and you convert it into an annuity option. So now you got $2 million in guaranteed payment for the rest of your life and then you still have $2 million in the stock market and you can invest that however you want. An annuity sometimes is bad if you died really quick. Because most annuities, you give all the money up front, and if you die quick, in theory, the insurance company wins, and you didn't. Where annuities give you some type of security is this concept of if you live to 120 or 110 years old, it will keep paying you as long as you are alive. And for some people, they like that guaranteed payment for life because it reduces what they call the long tail risk. If you outlive the average person and your investment may not uh, last that long, that's one way to solve it. So it does transfer risk and it reduces it. So this is why annuities is a good option for someone who wants to reduce some of the risk exposure to the stock market or whatever asset class you have and you move it into something else. I'm a big fan of hedging. I'm a big fan of investing in things that are non-correlated to all your other investments. This is the same concept of why you diversify. If I invested all my money in WorldCom or in Enron, we know how that ended. And if you diversified and only had 1% in WorldCom and 1% in Enron and 1% in whatever companies you want to invest in and you buy 100 different companies, even if 10 companies went bankrupt, you still have 90 companies. And hopefully, right, some of those companies are your Apples and your Amazons and your Microsoft and companies that grew. And that's the concept of diversifying. An annuity can do that. You can diversify away from the risk that you have in the stock market or in real estate and you buy a non-correlated asset. So there are many ways to do this. Should you do it through a 401k plan? Well, we have to see when they introduce this. But I believe the best way is do it yourself. You can have more control of it. And what I mean by that is as not like build an annuity yourself. What I mean is you can go and shop for an annuity. Talk to a licensed professional. Annuities are insurance products. That's why you need to get yourself a money professional to help you. Financial coaches can help you. Some uh, registered financial advisors can help you. Or they can refer you to a, a, uh, a retirement specialist who can help design a plan for you. And this is why it's so important to think through what you're trying to accomplish. I'm here to help you win with money. My job is to show you and teach you whether or not this product is good. It is too early to say, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. I still think it doesn't solve the underlying problem. People need to invest more money. And annuities are really, I, I like annuities. I don't think they're a bad option. I like annuities. And if you structure it in the right percentage of your net worth, there's a place in your portfolio for an annuity. As always, let's win together with money. Let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. And until next time, have a profitable day.